Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, it's a quarter to the top of the hour. Welcome back on your Friday morning. Yeah, Robert's here to give us a great looking forecast for the weekend. It is looking great, guys, finally, because we have earned it. You know, yes. have we? snaking our way After through the fog and cold of this past yeah. week, we deserve a nice weekend. Rather, you know, I think we would all take this weekend's weather mm -hmm. on the weekend as opposed to during the week and then a foggy, crummy weekend. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. So, yeah. Uh, at least those of us who have off during the weekend, those who normally work weekends might disagree. Mm. Yeah, she's right, folks. <laughs> and on that note, let's take you outside to Williston right now. Yes, I won't be able to enjoy the weekend. Well, you can be... hear your, the bitterness in your voice right. now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, she's right. <laughs> so here's Williston, very quiet this morning. The one thing I want you to notice here on the uh, Williston camera is usually you'll be able to see an American flag blowing right in this area, but it's not. Nice, calm winds this morning in the Williston area. You can see actually just southwest at 9, really not that bad. Wind chill of 2 degrees, that's tolerable for uh, end of the end of uh, January here. Almost said the end of July, which we're nowhere near. Fog, not a big issue. Just off to the northeast, you can see uh, Harvey seeing the worst of the fog right now, three-tenths of a mile. Uh, visibility slowly creeping up in the rugby area. This fog slowly getting pushed off to the east by those southwesterly winds that are out there right now. Here's a look at temperatures. Really not too bad. Most places in the teens and 20s across the area. We did have a couple of uh, towns Kind of some outside stragglers that were in the single digits right now. Uh, it looks like Newtown, the other one, still in the single digits right now. Everybody else warming up quite quickly with those uh, southwesterly and westerly winds this morning. Really not that bad. Uh, between 5 and 10 miles an hour. Some locations still dealing with calm winds. Satellite and radar picture is pretty clean this morning. We do have some breaks in the clouds basically across west central sections between uh, Dickinson and Minot. Clouds, though, will slowly, very slowly be on the increase as we go through the day. But as I roll through precision cast throughout the weekend here, you'll notice really no precipitation uh, to deal with here in North Dakota. So it's going to shape up to be a pretty nice weekend, although winds will be on the increase. But plenty of sunshine and uh, a mix of clouds and sun throughout the weekend and a pretty nice weekend. If you haven't taken down those holiday decorations yet or if you set up Hall uh, Valentine's Day decorations, uh, you might want to get that done this weekend. But winds will be on the increase. You can see those wind gusts picking up as we get towards Saturday morning. Winds gusting 40 to 45 miles an hour at times. Maybe even a stray gust higher than that as we get towards Saturday afternoon. But the good news is as we go through Sunday, those winds should slowly be subsiding, so it won't be too bad out there. 36 today in the Bismarck area with those clouds slowly on the increase. Uh, southwesterly winds between 3 and 6 miles an hour. About the same thing in mind out there. Exception will be a little bit gustier of winds out there. Three-day forecast for Williston is beautiful. You can see temperatures very comfortable and a nice mix of clouds and sunshine out there. Same thing with Dickinson. Look at that high on Saturday, 56 degrees. And I'll show you the highs for tomorrow because if you look off to the southwest, They'll be flirting with 60 degrees. So enjoy the weekend there in Bowman and Beach and Hedinger. Even Dickinson, you 58 even in Sydney. So really not that bad out there. Uh, great weekend here at the extended forecast for Bismarck. Just dealing with those winds. But you know what? With mild temperatures, I think we'll take the winds. Our next chance for any precipitation to fall out of the sky won't come until Wednesday night and into Thursday. But right now, that's just a very outside chance. Same thing for the Magic City. You can see there a pretty nice extended forecast. Certainly take this over what we could be getting for this time of the year in early February. Yeah, you said a year ago today, right? We were, what, 30 below? 33 below zero, folks. I was out in it, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. got a little bit of frostbite on the old toes, but it has since healed up. That's so. good. That's good. All right, I'm, thank you, Robert. I'm, I'm yep. happy for your toes. Yeah, we're all happy for your toes. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, thank you. <laughs> Okay. okay, um, so let's regroup here. So <laughs> that's right. <laughs> talking about Robert's toes. But winter, despite the fact that it's gonna be this warm this winter, it isn't going anywhere. No. So I don't think there's ever a bad time For a little, to uh, have some hot cocoa, hot yeah, chocolate. It is uh, on the national day calendar, National Hot Chocolate Day. Mm -hmm. Tim, you are a big hot chocolate. Well, here's now, the thing, hot not? chocolate is great because you know I'm not a coffee drinker, yes. long established. Yes. But I like going to coffee shops, yep. you know, to read a book or yep, yep. study or whatever. So you have your hot chocolate. Exactly. So it gives me, there. it's always on the menu. Mm -hmm. Do you, I, there's uh, something I can order without well, feeling like an idiot. And, put a little yeah. of uh, Grandpa's Magic Elixir in the 
Well, probably cocoa? not at a, co uh, not not at the not coffee, coffee shop. No. Oh, uh, okay. That's fair. I'm a marshmallow guy. <laughs> okay. Marshmallow, was that Grandpa's elixir, the marshmallows? Elixir. Yeah. All right. Baby. <laughs> well, there's still plenty of news and weather ahead on Good Day Dakota, including... Risking their lives, running into burning buildings. It's not the only health risk that firefighters face, if you can believe that. We'll tell you more after the break.